So, we got the Cadillac out the paint booth, and uh, we're going to tackle this little sag that we got uh, in the door. Not too serious, so we're going to start off with uh, 1,000 grit, uh, next 1,500, and then after that, we're going to finish it with some 2,000, and then uh, polish it out, and... Uh, see what this thing look like so let's get going all right kings and queens so what we're working with today we got some thousand grit sandpaper we'll step up to 15 then we'll finish it off with some 2000 just got a bucket of water and a sanding block and a spray bottle so we can keep that surface wet while we uh rubbing on that little sag that we got in the door and this is just regular water no soap in it so that's what we're using and let's go ahead and knock this little sag out so i like to uh spray the panel i got my block with a thousand on it uh see that there got a thousand on it and I'm gonna spray the panel block is already wet I got my bucket of water right next to me spray the panel and let's see how bad this sag really is now when I sand this I'm gonna go in an X pattern so you see me going in one direction already. Next, I'll work it the other way. That's going in a cross pattern or X pattern. And the, not, the thousand is gonna knock it down pretty fast. I'll take my block, clean the panel see where we actually are. Get it to dry a little bit. I knew it wasn't gonna take a lot but it looked like we got most of the sag out already. All right, so I sanded it down, but I still can feel it, even though you can't even see it. I can still feel it. So I'm gonna hit up here just a little bit more with a thousand. Then we're gonna move on to some 1500. All right, so I like the way it's feeling right now. So we're going to switch over to some uh, 1500 and uh, going to block it out even more. And now we're just going to start smoothing out those uh, 1000 grit scratches. And then we just want to keep going finer and finer. That way when we actually uh, wheel out our spot it won't take us that long to uh, bring the color back and wheel out and buff out those uh, heavier scratches. So again, just gonna go right back to my X pattern. And I don't have like tremendous pressure on the block. Just got a nice little pressure on it. And just kind of gliding over the surface.
And then once I have it like I want it with the 1500, I'm gonna step up to 2000. So let me uh, knock it out with this 2000, then we'll get you back on. Right now we got the sag out like we want and I'm getting ready to do the wheeling portion well, let me get up in the camera so we're getting ready to do the wheeling portion and what I'm gonna use is I got some uh, compound and swirl remover this is all wizards uh, products we're gonna wheel it out with well we're at least gonna start with a uh, wool pad and uh, work our way up to a uh, foam pad, a waffle foam pad, and uh, see if we can't get this thing wheeled out and get this color back. Let's do that. So let's uh, get this uh, thing wheeled out, see what it look like, see if it look good, see if it don't, see if we got to do anything else. Let's get it. Now this is a Harbor Freight uh, polisher. It's not the one that I normally use. I use the Makita, but that one is acting up on me probably from years and years of use. So it's been uh, acting up and don't wanna act right. So we had this on standby just in case, and we're gonna try this one out. I don't really care for it because it starts at one, two, three, the speeds, just really don't know, you know, what kind of RPMs you're working with. So I'm gonna just go over the panel and uh, just keep working it until I'm satisfied. Definitely liking that right there. Look like it's not gonna take me a whole lot to get this to come back. But that's because I went through the proper steps of 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000. So the finer you get, the easier it is for you to wheel it back out. So we'll go over this a couple more times and then uh, finish up. Kind of work it in real good.
now you can see the pad which you know that's really what you want you want to be able to see you know reflections and everything in your clear you don't want it to be foggy I think we are looking pretty good got my cloth wipe her down she's feeling good So we're gonna hit her with a waffle pad and some swirl mark remover. And she's gonna be good to go. All right, so I got my waffle pad and I already put some, uh, so I already put some uh, swirl mark remover on and we're just gonna give it a nice little wipe around you don't need a lot of this stuff because it spreads pretty far so let's get it polished up So she's definitely looking good. No traces of the sag. It's looking flat. Good reflection. So I think we can call this one good. Get her finished up and out the door. All right, kings and queens. So the door is looking good. Right where the little sag was at, you can't see no more. See the nice little metallic in it. Looks good. Good reflection. So I think this is a good one, man. We done with this one. So a quick little recap. Uh, we started off by blocking it out, cross pattern, X pattern with a thousand, then we switched up to 1500, then jumped up to 2000, smoothed it right on out, gave us a nice surface to work with. After that, went to the wheel and started off with the wool pad, then after the wool pad, jumped into the waffle pad or the foam pad and uh, hit it with some swirl mark remover after hitting it with the compound. And that gave us the results that we were looking for. So hopefully this video uh, help you out on if you get any sags or runs in any of your projects. And if not, hit me up in the comment section and we'll discuss it. So yeah, this your boy, the UP King, the people's champ, and we out. Everything will be a underground thing Underground thing I sacrifice everything to be a underground thing Thing